Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will explore an example of render sets applied to the world of jewelry. A very common question asked by our jeweler customers is how to cut a piece of jewelry out of the render to place it over another background such as a website. Let's nest our ring geometry in a group first. And let's give a render set ID to the newly created group. By doing this, the ring and the floor will have different render set IDs. In the render panel we will configure our output settings and change the file format to PNG. Let's not forget to enable embed alpha so the solid geometry gets cut out. Next we will enable render sets. For this example we don't need the backdrop or the background. So these options may stay disabled. Now let's type in the ID of the ring group in the render set list. And finally let's configure the quality settings or simply use draft render for a quick preview. If we open the output file in Photoshop we will find the ring perfectly cut out by its alpha channel. If we place a new background, everything will blend in perfectly. Let's try now involving the backdrop in the render. To this end, we will enable the backdrop options in the render panel. And enable the tag as backdrop option in the floor settings. We will type in the keyword all in the render sets list. And select PSD for the output format. Let's run a draft render to get a quick preview again. If we open the output file in Photoshop we will find groups and layers conveniently organized. The special shadows and reflections layers for the floor offer a great degree of control. Should we need to change one specific material? We could avoid a full re-render by applying new materials to the ring and changing their IDs. Let's go back to the render panel and switch over to material mode, and type in the IDs that we used. Let's rename the output file, but let's keep PSD selected since we will be rendering two layers. After a draft render, we get one different render per material, both grouped in a single PSD file. We may drop the new layers over the original file and see how they fit in perfectly. We hope that you will make the most out of render sets. Working with them is very easy, yet extremely powerful. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.